Poor disabled soldier get his broken body off the bed. Sweet, you know ain't nothing wrong with you. <laughs> nothing wrong. Although in grave danger, Corporal Carter Sweet Williams, EBP. EBP? Extremely brave person. <laughs> threw his precious body over a cargo of lethal grenades so that others might live. Sweet, you was napping in back. I hit a pothole, and you fill off a load of beer. Detail. I ain't got time for detail. <sighs> what are you doing? Jedediah, you think I'd look better in bronze or marble? Sweet, good people ain't gonna give you no statue for a sprained ankle. Why not? They gave General Pershing one for playing blackjack, didn't they? Really? <laughs> oh, sweet, get out of here with that stuff. <laughs> what is that? Leftovers. What's in them? Nobody you know. <laughs> oh, dirty rat. I ain't eating this slop. I'm busting out of here. <laughs> What do you recommend? Only the gravy. Everything underneath bites back. I'm starved. Give me a lot of everything. Oh, goody, goody. A kamikaze eater. Hey, sweet, you know they got a taste for for chow? If it's food, you're out of luck. Some fried mush and fat back. When you die, promise you leave your mouth to sign. <laughs> Hey, sweet, you're forgetting the limp. It comes and goes. Hey, Sergeant Grease, what can we get here besides sick? Oh, now the place must be good. All the truck drivers eat here. Don't mess with me, you dog faces. I got a better offer from the Germans. Fifteen dollars a week and all you can eat. Well, why didn't you take it? Well, I did. I did. Now let's see how funny you are after you gobble this. Now move out before I give you seconds. Well, well, wonders never cease if it ain't Sergeant Grease. Lord love a duck if it ain't Corporal Shuck. Hey, Sarge. We're back for some more of your good eats. Last chance to get gas before sick call. Now look at here. We got us another comic. Sonny Funny and his brown brilliance. <laughs> That was a good joke, Sonny. And I got a pretty good joke myself. What's that? Lunch. <laughs> Don't mess with me, Jack. This T stands for tow me. Oh, man, how could you feed such goop to a wounded hero? I ain't eating this without combat pay. You keep talking, dog face, and I'm gonna send you to bed with supper. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Captain Cavalli? Be right with you, kid. As soon as I get to Dakota. <laughs> okay, fellas, take five. Smoke if you got them. Sir, this dispatch just came from division. You know anything about opera kid? A little, yes, sir. Do you know what that was I just played? It's the aria Raquel Quandi Senor from Act Four of La Juive by Halavi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know that Arya's got a history? Oh, that yes, was sir. Caruso was singing it when he burst the blood vessel in his throat. It's the last Arya he ever sang. 
I wanted to say that part. Okay, okay. What is it, Lieutenant Brains? So something very important came through regarding Corporal Williams. Williams? He rooms with Brooks. I know. What about him? <laughs> Sir, you're not going to believe this. If a loaf of white bread like you knows about Caruso with his vessels, I'll believe anything. <laughs> this is a discharge for Corporal Williams. Discharge? From the Army? Yes, sir. They're releasing him under paragraph two. Grievous wounds. What happened to him? He sprained his ankle. <laughs> hey, I just didn't come through immigration. Let me see that. Santa Pacienza, you're right. <laughs> the war's over, kid. Finished. If they're letting him out with sprained ankles, you know what's next? Blackheads and prickly heat. <laughs> Discharged. Sir, am I dismissed? If it so happens. Oh, I always get a call when I'm in the tub. Talk, French man. Your wish is my commando, Rooney. Look here. Uh-oh, form the trucks in the circle, high strung. It's Big Chief Phony Foot. Oh, the film flam prize. <laughs> it's amazing what some draft boards will take. Uh, you better cancel the recital, sweets. I don't think you're going to be doing Swan Lake tonight. <laughs> hey, fellas, this ain't a joke. Sweet really hurt his foot. What happened? A gold brick fell on it? Don't mess with me, P-Brain. If this foot gets any worse, I'm gonna have to go to a hospital. Yeah, to have your jive removed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, why don't you turn your faces into the supply room? You're jamming all the radios. Uh, Williams? Whatever it is, I'm innocent and I'll never do it again. Purple, I have some, well, astonishing news for you. My Purple Heart came through? Corporal Williams, you have been granted an honorable discharge from the United States Army. The Army finds you've been grievously wounded and pending adequate transportation to port of debarkation, Corporal Williams is to be relieved of all duties and provided with adequate medical and rehabilitative facilities. Uh, oh, my foot, my foot, oh, my leg, my nose, my gums. Uh, Sorry, I'm afraid I have only one of these. <laughs> It just don't make sense. The Army's not obligated to make sense, Williams. In fact, there's not a word about it in the manual. Congratulations, Mr. Williams. <laughs> oh, you sure you ain't been praying on the side, sweet? May he strike me down if I ever so much has looked his way. Lord sure do work in mysterious ways, don't he? Yeah, he gave sweets my discharge. <laughs> Here's a copy of the order, Williams. Well, what do you know? Mama? You can take my keychain out of moth balls. Your baby is coming home. <laughs> wow, wow. <All> right, sir. <laughs> Put me down for a call for Thursday or Saturday, whichever comes last. Sure, I'm glad for you, sweet. But I'm gonna miss you more than a lot, though. Right back at you, Jedi. You've been a brother, a friend, even been like a professor. See that? Now you got three more people to write to. <laughs> Just thought of something. Something O'Vout. Something O'Rooney. What's that? Picked it up on our last trip to Paris. <laughs> oh, wow. Ella. Lena, give me up. I'm no good for you. <laughs> Ladies of the United States of Harlem, beware. There's no point resisting. Open your arms, close the doors, and hope for the best. <laughs> Hi, honey. Sorry I'm late. Hi there, Sergeant. So nice to be here in the fun zone. I like your hat, Corporal. Tasteful, yet somehow gaudy. Well, thank you, Daddy. Daddy? Is that hat pressing against your brain? I thought I'd wear it after my nap. Your nap? Got to get my beauty rest. Then I'm going over to Madame Delacourt's for an apparent teeth. Or maybe I'll have two pairs of teeth. <laughs> Corporal, I'm beginning to feel my punishment glands start to secrete. Let me guess. Is it animal, vegetable, or potato? No. 
Actually, I was more in a latrine frame of mind. <laughs> Specifically, scrubbing and dirty word removal. Especially anything that contains the initials B.J. Or any maternal references. Or both, should they find themselves joined in the same scatological outburst. Yeah. The man's head's got to go to the shop. He's burning oil. <laughs> and your mouth's running a little rich, ain't it, William? Would you show the sergeant to the door? I'm just too weary to deal on the crudity of his rudity. I do believe you're bucking for a firing squad, Corporal. Watch who you call him, Corporal. I have been promoted. That's right. I even outrank you. That's so. <laughs> that's so, but that's so. I am a civilian. A five star civilian. <laughs> Yo, what? That's right, Sergeant. Sweet's got himself a discharge. Jed, cast my pearl before the swine. <laughs> Sweet's no longer with us, Sergeant. What are you talking about? We're talking about freedom. F R double E. Dumb Sergeant Potato Brain. Freedom to eat when I want, freedom to sleep when I want, freedom to play when I want, and most of all, freedom to take that whistle and do something highly creative with it, chain and all. I'm sweet, I mean no harm, Sergeant. He's just overcome with the joy of being a civilian and all. Well, you're still in the Army, Brooks. And the convoy rolls out of here in 35 minutes. And I want your truck gassed up, checked out, and ready to go. Yes, sir. And don't you call me sir. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Let's see if you can do something highly creative with this. If you've got nothing better to do, dog face, there's a few potatoes that need undressing oh, and some pots and pans just dying to meet your elbow. Ain't you heard, Sergeant Grease? Why, well, I'm excused from the war. Says who? I got a note from my uncle. Please excuse Corporal Williams from any and all duties as he is sick. Where'd you get sick from? I don't know. It was either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs> oh, I forgot. We got us a gourmet here from Harlem. Next time, I'll serve you chipped paint and goat stroganoff. Well, my goodness, Sergeant. Your uniform's all wrinkled. Your brass is tarnished. Your bootsies are all dusty. What did they do to you out there? Williams. Jed is missing. What'd you say? He's missing. Missing in action. We got caught in a crossfire. I gave the order to dismount and take cover in the woods. I was carrying gasoline and all. When the shooting died down, we got back in our vehicles and Brooks was missing. Down? Hey, it, it, it happens, man. We were all starting to fan out and look for him when the crouch hit us again. I would rather have died than to haul out of there without him, but... What with that load of high-octane fuel, I had 46 other men to think of. One direct hit, and that whole convoy would have gone up. Hey, where you going, sweet? I ain't got that many people I love. I can afford to lose one. Look, sir, I don't care whether it's a Jeep, a truck, a tank, Roller skates. Just give me some wheels. I know I can find him. There's fighting. Heavy fighting in that sector. I ain't gonna risk another life. Please, Captain, give me a break. I am giving you a break. That's why I'm not sending you out there. May I remind you I'm a civilian? Then take a taxi. <laughs> oh, come on, Captain. Dismissed.
Williams? What is it, Lieutenant? Robert, please. You're not in the Army anymore. Yeah, I almost forgot how happy I was. I uh, think I can let you have a vehicle. No jive? Would I jive you? <laughs> All you have to do is sign these two forms. One releases a jeep. I sign anything. Just give me them keys. And the other form is for your re-enlistment. <laughs> Something the matter? Uh, my jeep hand is fine, but my re-enlistment hand just froze up on me. It's for your own protection. If you're captured as a civilian, they can put you in front of a firing squad. Give me the keys. I just signed the pink slip. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was the number one barber in the Wehrmacht. Sit up straight, will you please? I cut all the biggies. Martin Bormann, Hess, Heinrich Himmler. Give me the truth. What kind of guys are they? Beautiful human beings. You hear what I'm saying? The bigger they are, the nicer they are. Please sit up straight, you're a captain. And you know who it was, the sweetest of them all? No, who it was? Gary, the grubber. What does that mean? Porky the pig. Sit up, nice. Was he a good tipper? Not exactly a tipper. He used to give me a little drab once in a while. What a strange man. How are you saying your country a little tutti frutti? <laughs> hey! I thought I told you no vehicle. You told that to Mr. Williams, the civilian. So? So now I'm Corporal Williams. I'm out of your jurisdiction. Oh. <laughs> How'd that go again? <laughs> You're supposed to be dead or dying. I feel like I'm both. What happened? Well, I guess I got a little lost during the action. By the time I found my way back to the road, the whole convoy was gone. <laughs> hey. Hey. I hope I didn't cause no trouble. No trouble at all. All of them wasn't ready for me anyway. <laughs> Der Gates, die de, Gates, die de Gates, die Kanadigen, Gnädigen, Gnädigen, Fräulein, 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 Perfection. You got some ear for language. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Give me another sentence. Uh, uh, Captain Cavalli. Der Gates, der Herr Lieutenant. <laughs> Stay still. Sehr gut, danke. Und Ihnen, mein Kapitän. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're like a rep in your schnitzel. Look on me, you see who that is? Brooks. Brooks. That's what I said. I know, that's what threw me off. <laughs> Brooks. You sure gave me some scare, old buddy. Oh, I didn't mean to, sweet. Oh, that's all right. It's all part of being a daddy. <laughs> Good to see you in one piece, Brooks. Uh, feels even better being in it, sir. Uh, Lieutenant, that piece of paper I signed, my re-enlistment? Your what? I plead momentary insanity at a brain box. <laughs> you re-enlisted? My porch light went out for a minute. I was temporarily playing without a full deck. He re-enlisted so he could go out and try and find you. You did that for me? That's right, Jed. And now, for my next number, I am going to do something for me. Lieutenant, repeat after me. Corporal Sweet Williams, you are hereby de-unenlisted. I'm afraid you're in the Army to stay. I can't be. I understand. Lord knows the Army's no place to be during a war. <laughs> sorry about this, Sweet. Oh, well. You're alive and I'm dead again. I'm sorry, too. Uh, is that an absolute permanent two copies to the head office, sorry? A carrier just picked up your re-enlistment with a mail. He's on his way to the Third Army now. 
Brooks, don't go yet. You have a form to sign here. Sir? A form to be signed in the event that the signer is still alive. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you trying to do, son? Do? Well, I'm going to turn to the Third Army Captain. You don't have to answer nothing, you know. You're entitled to legal counsel. <laughs> legal? Well, what do I need any legals for? You know what's in that pouch? No, sir. That's what they all say. Well, look, Captain, I don't know nothing about what's in anything. I mean, they just give me this stuff and I deliver it. You know, son, it might sound crazy, but I believe you. <laughs> just give me that pouch and we'll forget the whole thing. Well, yes, sir. Carry on. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Have any of you men seen Williams? The only thing I can see from here is the ground, but I'll keep looking down. I may see him coming up. Well, if any of you see the corporal, will you please, please tell him? Please, Lieutenant, don't call that high strutting hustler a corporal. You don't deserve the title. I'm afraid he does, Sergeant. According to this report, which just came in, his discharge was meant for another Corporal Williams in the 78th Infantry. Al Williams has been in the Army all along. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Madam Delacourt. There sure ain't no place like this in Harlem. Well, maybe after the war I come over and open one, huh? Mm, wouldn't that be something? We'd go into business together. Sweet and Delacourt. Della Sweets? Sweet and Court. I got it. Sweets Deli. <laughs> All the cuisine we'd lay on them peasants' palates. Mm, spare rib St. Jacques, eggs Bojangles, beef Ellington, and Booyah Basin. Hello, Williams. Madame Delacourt. Bonjour, Sergeant. Hello, Sergeant Porky. Come in to make a deposit in your already overstuffed dumpling. Dump. Say, aren't we sharp today? <laughs> well, civilian life agrees with me. Uh, care for a touch of the cognac? I'd love to, but I'm on duty. You understand. Oh, of course I understand, you silly sergeant. After all, I'm a veteran. Hey, there's another dish for our menu. Ruptured duck a la orange. <laughs> Cute, huh, Fats? How you do enjoy running me down. <laughs> well, Sarge, hate to eat and run, but uh, America beckons. I understand. Oh, before you go, do you think you just might find some time to grease six or seven trucks? Perhaps perform a latrinectomy? Or commit potato side? That kind of thing? <laughs> hey, Sarge. Our last trip down memory lane. <laughs> I love it! I love it! <laughs> yeah. Move it. Where am I going? I'm a civilian. I don't have to take this. Oh, yes, you do. The Army made a mistake. A mistake? You told me the Army never makes a mistake. <laughs> Not a big mistake, like letting you in the Army in the first place. Just a teensy-weensy mistake, like sending the wrong guy a discharge. Would you care to read this before I have it set to music? <laughs> Madam Delacourt, it looks like our grand opening has been postponed. Would you mind if I slipped into something comfy before going to the stockade? That makes a whole lot of sense. After you. Oh, Chief! Oh, war! on your hands? Oh, no, 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 sir. Oh, uh, we're doing fine, sir. Everything's cool, sir. Perhaps you'd like to join your friend over there. You've heard of KP. 
And this is what I call CP, Creative Punishment. Hip, hip, hop, and hip, hip, hop, the rim. <laughs> 